Short paragraphs. 1. Myself. Name, age, address, hobby, like slash dislikes, ambition. My name is Rishi. I am 10. I am from Pakara. I study in grade 5. My hobby is singing. I like vegetarian food. I do not like noise. I want to be an engineer. That's all about me. 2. My family. Size, age, job. There are four members in my family. There is my mother, my father, my sister, and myself. My mother is 32. She is a doctor. My father is 35. He is a businessman. My sister is 6. She is in grade 1. I am 10. I am in grade 5. I love my family very much. 3. My school. Name slash location, features, people slash activities, opinion slash suggestion. The name of my school is Jebs. It is at Pragdinagar. It is a very big school. There are three buildings in the school compound. My school has a playground, a hostel, a canteen, a library, a science lab and a computer lab. It has also four school buses. There are over a thousand students from nursery to grade 12. The school has 55 teachers. My school is famous for discipline and exam results. I like my school very much. 4. My country. Name slash location features, people slash activities, opinion slash suggestion. The name of my country is Nepal. It is in Asia. It is between India and China. It is a small country. There are snowy mountains in the north, hills in the middle and plains in the south. There are seven provinces and 77 districts in Nepal. Kathmandu is the capital of my country. There are about 30 million people in Nepal. Most people of Nepal are small farmers. They grow rice, wheat, maize, millet, vegetables, fruits etc. The Nepalese follow religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, Christianity etc. We celebrate festivals like Dasain, Tihar, Eid, Luhasar, Christmas etc. in Nepal. Nepal is famous for MT. Everest. I love my country. 5. My town. Name slash location, features, people slash activities, opinion slash suggestion. The name of my town is Pakara. It is in Kaski district of Gandaki province. It is about 200 kms from Kathmandu. Visitors can come to Pakara by road and by air as well. Pakara is a large city. It has a university, an airport, an industrial area, a lake, many schools, colleges, and museums. The people of Pakara are mostly businessmen. Many people work in industries and factories, too. Hundreds of people teach in schools and colleges. There are thousands of students in Pakara. A large number of people also work in hotels and restaurants. Pakara is famous for Lake Fuwa. 6. My Classroom Location, Features, People Slash Activities, Opinion Slash Suggestion I am in grade 5. My classroom is in the middle of the second floor in the new school building. 
My classroom is rectangular in shape. It has two doors and six large windows. The walls are white and blue in color. There is a large whiteboard in the front. There are two fans and two light bulbs on the ceiling. The classroom has eight desks, eight benches, a table, and a chair. There are many charts, maps and pictures on the walls. There are 24 students in my class. More than half of the students are girls. We keep our classroom neat and clean. I like my classroom. 7. Tihar Festival Type slash time, duration, activities, reason, opinion slash suggestion. Tihar is a national festival of Nepal. It occurs in October. It's a Hindu festival and we celebrate Tihar for five days. We worship the dog on the first day. We offer food and a garland to it. We worship the crow on the second day and the ox on the third day. The fourth day is Lakshmi Puja. We light candles and worship Goddess Lakshmi. She is the goddess of money. The last day is by Taika. This the most important day. Sisters worship for the long life of their brothers and brothers give gifts. This is a very beautiful festival of lights, songs, and street dancing. 8. Recipe for Omelette, Cereal Actions First of all, break the eggs and pour the egg contents into a bowl. Beat them well with an egg beater. Cut some onions and green chilies. Add the cut onions and chilies to the egg contents. Stir the mixture well. Now light the stove. Heat some oil in a pan. Pour the mixture into the pan. Spread the mixture quickly. Turn the half-cooked omelette over once. Your omelette's ready. 9. Advantages of TVs, list. There are many advantages of TVs. First, we can get live news from all over the world. Secondly, we can watch games, films, and musical programs for entertainment. Thirdly, we can learn many skills like cooking, sewing etc. and also about people, places and other things. Lastly, we can use TVs for advertisements and notices. That's all. 10. Plans for next week, list. Next week, I'm going to visit Pakara. I'll go there by bus on Sunday. I'll stay in a hotel. And on Monday, I'll go to see Mahendra Cave. I'll stay inside the cave for a while and take some photographs. On Tuesday, I'll go to Lake Fiwa. I'll do some boating there. On Wednesday, I'll visit the museums, and on Thursday, I'll go to downtown at Mahendra Pool for some shopping. I'll return home on Friday. That's all. 11. My Room Location, Features, People Slash Activities, Opinion Slash Suggestion My room is on the second floor. It is square in shape. It has two doors and four windows. The walls are white. There is a fan on the ceiling. My bed is near the back window. There is a cupboard in a corner. I keep my things in it. There is a table and a chair near the front window. I keep my books on it. There is a wall clock above the table. The floor is covered with a carpet. There are pictures on the walls. My room is very beautiful. I like my room. 12. My best friend. Name, age, address, education, hobby, 
likes, ambition. I have many friends. Among them, my best friend is Alex. He is 10. He lives in Pakara. He studies in grade 5. His hobby is football. He likes trees. He does not like junk food. He wants to be an actor. I like him very much. 13. My daily routine, serial activities. I get up before 6 in the morning. Then, I have a wash. Then, I have my breakfast at 7. Then, I study for an hour. I have my lunch at 9.30 and get dressed for school. I get to school before 10. I stay in the school from 10 to 4. After 4, I get back to home and change my dress. After refreshments, I go to play for an hour. In the evening, I watch TV for a while, do my homework and go to bed before 9. 14. My friend's daily routine, serial activities. My friend gets up before 6 in the morning. Then, he has a wash. Then, he has his breakfast at 7. Then, he studies for an hour. He has his lunch at 9.30, and then, he gets dressed for school. He gets to school before 10. He stays in the school up to 4. After 4, he gets back home and changes his dress. After refreshments, he goes to play football with his friends. In the evening, he watches TV for a while, does his homework and goes to bed before 9. 15. My friend's room. Location, features, people slash activities, opinion slash suggestion. My friend's room is on the second floor. It is square in shape. It has two doors and four windows. The walls are white. There is a fan on the ceiling. There is a bed near the back window. There is a cupboard in a corner. He keeps his things in it. There is a table and a chair near the front window. He keeps his books on it. There is a wall clock above the table. The floor is covered with a carpet. There are pictures on the walls. My friend's room is very beautiful. I like his room. 16. Winter season. Time, features, activities, opinions slash suggestions. There are four main seasons in a year. Winter is one of them. It comes after the rainy season and before the spring season. Winter starts from November and ends in February. Winter is a cold season. There is snow in the mountains, and winter mornings are foggy. Nights are very long and days are short. The sun rises very late and sets very early. People wear warm and thick cloths. They like to eat and drink warm things in winter. People celebrate Christmas and New Year during winter. Farmers produce winter crops, vegetables, and fruits. Most people do not like winter season because it is a difficult time of suffering from diseases and death. 17. Yesterday's Diary, Serial Activities Yesterday, I got up before 6 in the morning. Then, I had a wash. Then, I had my breakfast at 7. Then, I studied for an hour. I had my lunch at 9.30 and got dressed for school. I got to school before 10. I stayed in the school up to 4. After 4, I got back to home and changed my dress. After refreshments, I went to play with my friends. 
In the evening, I watched TV for a while, did my homework and went to bed before 9. 18. My plans for tomorrow, serial activities. Tomorrow, I'll get up before 6 in the morning. Then, I will have a wash. Then, I will have my breakfast at 7. Then, I will study for an hour. I will have my lunch at 9.30 and then, I will get dressed for school. I will get to school before 10. I will stay in the school up to 4. After 4, I will get back to home and change my dress. After refreshments, I will go to play for an hour. In the evening, I will watch TV for a while, do my homework and go to bed before 9. 19. Giving directions, list of serial instructions. First of all, get to the road and turn to the right. Then, go to the Y junction and take the right. Then, go to the crossroads. Turn to the right. Go 50 meters. The place is in front of you. You can't miss it. 20. Last weekend, serial activities. Last Saturday, I got up quite late in the morning. I had a bath, and after having a bath, I got dressed and had my breakfast. Then, I went to the nearest city by bus. I got there at 10.30. First of all, I went to a hospital to see a friend. I stayed with him for two hours. Then, I went to downtown for some shopping. I bought a summer coat for myself, and then, I had my lunch in a restaurant. After lunch, I went to meet some relatives. At last, I returned home in the evening by taxi. That's all about my last weekend. 21. My last week's diary, list of activities. Last week was different from other weeks. I went to visit a friend in the hospital on Sunday. On Monday, I went to a wedding. On Tuesday, I watched a movie with my friends. The following day was Wednesday, and I had a party at home because it was my birthday. On Thursday, I cleaned my room and put everything in order. On Friday, I went for an outing with my neighbors. On Saturday, I just stayed at home and relaxed. That's all about my past week. 22. My childhood, list of activities. When I was a child, I used to do a lot of funny things. I used to get up very early along with my mother. Then, I used to go to toilet. My mother used to wash me and I used to wear colorful dress. I used to play with my brothers. My mother used to feed me with her hands. I used to follow my brothers to school and I used to cry a lot. I used to fight with others for things I wanted. I used to give a lot of trouble to all. That's all about my childhood habits and activities. 23. Future plans, list of activities. I am going to learn computer skills for the first three months of this year. Secondly, I'll learn to drive for the next two months. Then, I'll go to a language school for four months to learn German. Lastly, I'll stay at home and help my father in his work. That's all about my plans for the next 12 months. 24. My friend's leisure activities. My friend is a student. So, she goes to school in the mornings. But she is quite free in the afternoons and evenings. After lunch at 11, 
my friend goes to the fields and helps her parents with their work. She plays volleyball every afternoon from 4 to 5. After volleyball, she goes home and has a wash. Then, she watches TV for a while. She usually has her supper at 8. Then, she studies her books for 2 hours. Finally she goes to bed at 10.30. On weekends, she is free. She does washing in the mornings and goes to movies in the afternoons. She spends the evenings with friends. 25. Describe yourself as a lazy person. I'm a very lazy person. So, I get up a bit late in the mornings. I miss my first session in the school. My dress is never clean. My shoes are not clean and polished. My hair is not tidy. I don't do my homework every day. Usually, teachers are not happy with me and I often get punishment. My room is quite messy. It smells bad. My bed sheets are dirty. My things are never in place. I don't eat my meals in time. Sometimes, I go without food. Obviously, my health is not good. 26. An outing. Last Saturday, I went to visit a friend at his home. We decided to go on an outing. We carried food, water etc. and started on foot. We reached the river bank in about two hours. Soon, we started fishing. We had our lunch at 11 and then rested for a while on the river bank. We enjoyed music from our mobile phones. It was getting hotter now. We took off our dress and jumped into the river. It was good to be in the cool water. We swam in it for a while and then decided to do some more fishing. It was nearly 4 in the afternoon. So, we packed up and returned home. I don't think it was a nice outing because of the fishing thing. 27. Winter Activities, List Farmers grow and harvest winter crops like potatoes, cauliflowers, oranges etc. People wear warm cloths and enjoy drinking hot stuff. They like to stay indoors. They also like to sit near a fire and also in the sun. They celebrate festivals like Christmas, New Year, and Magga Sankranti. In winter, most people suffer from common colds and cough. It is a hard time for children and old people. 28. Advantages of Computers, List There are many advantages of computers. First, we use them in education to teach and learn different subjects. Secondly, we use them in business for keeping accounts and to sell things online. Thirdly, we use them at home to watch movies, play video games etc. for entertainment. Fourthly, we use them for email and internet services. 29. Disadvantages of mobile phones, list. There are some disadvantages of mobile phones. First, people can use them for crime. Secondly, they can cause explosions. Thirdly, mobile phones can disturb our peace. Fourthly, they can damage ears and eyes. Lastly, they are expensive to buy. 30. A farm worker's morning. A farm worker gets up early in the morning before 6. He has a wash first. Then, he has his tea at 6. Then, he goes to work. He has his breakfast at 8 in the field. After breakfast, he works for a couple of hours before it is lunch time. 
he usually takes his lunch at 11.30. This is the typical morning of a farm worker. 31. How football is played, list. Football is played in a field. There are two teams of 11 players each. Only the goalkeeper can touch the ball with the hand. The game starts from the center. Each team tries to take the ball to the opposite goal post to score goals. The team that scores more goals wins. 32. Compare any two countries. India is much bigger than Nepal. Nepal has less population than India. India is richer than Nepal. It has more industries than Nepal. Nepal's climate is colder than India's. 33. Advice to lose weight. You have to do several things to control your weight. First, you should believe that weight can be controlled. Secondly, you should eat less calories than you are eating now. Thirdly, you should walk at least 4 kilometers every day. Lastly, you should take up meditation seriously. 34. Describe a shirt. This shirt is made in Italy. It is made of pure cotton. It is white in color. It has long sleeves. It is of medium size. It can be washed in whatever way you like. It is a very expensive shirt. It feels good to touch it. 35. Rules for an exam hall, list. A. You cannot bring anything except your admit card and a pen to write with. B. You cannot talk with other examines. C. You cannot copy answers from others. D. You cannot help others. E. You cannot write anything on your admit card. 36. Describe a restaurant. This restaurant is in the middle of the Bank Road Street. It is opposite to a large bank. The receptionist is a cheerful and smiling person. The dining hall is large with a lot of tables. The tables are with white tablecloths and there are flowers on the tables. There is a soft light in the dining hall and the walls are pink in color. The waitresses are quick and the food is good. But it is not very expensive. Everything about the restaurant is nice. 37. Activities of an annoying person in the family. My brother is quite annoying. He does a lot of things to make us angry. He plays music loudly and disturbs not only the family members but also the neighbors. He stays up late, watching TV. In the morning, he does not get up in time and shouts at anyone who tries to wake him up. He does not take bath regularly and sometimes smells bad. His socks always give off bad smell. His room is messy, and he does not change his sheets often enough. 38. A Hindu Bride, Appearance On the wedding day, a Hindu bride wears a red sari. She also wears a heavy makeup. She is covered with a lot of jewelry. Her hair is beautifully done, and she keeps her head covered with her sari. Only a part of her unsmiling face is seen. She wears a pair of sandals but they remain hidden most of the time. 39. Uses of Rivers Rivers have many uses. First, we can use river water for irrigation in agriculture. Secondly, we can produce electricity using river water. Thirdly, we can use rivers for water transport. Fourthly, we can use river water for industries and factories. Lastly, we can use river water for washing and drinking too. 40. 
Traveling by bus. Traveling by bus is very slow. It is not too expensive, though. It is not very comfortable but it is safer than other means of transport. Traffic jams and bad roads make traveling very difficult and boring. 41. Your likes and dislikes. I like to wear clean and expensive dress. I don't use old-fashioned cloths. I eat anything that is produced locally. I don't like foods cooked earlier than three hours. I don't like meat. I drink only water. I never drink cold drinks. I get up early and go to bed early. I don't like gossiping. I like to work and when I am not working I am in meditation. 42. Changes in your cousin after 10 years. I saw my cousin again after 10 years. He was 9 at that time and now he is 19. He used to wear shorts but now he wears only long pants. He had no beard and mustache then, but now he wears a mustache. His face looks quite different now. He was a small boy but now he is a tall young man. His voice is also big now. He looks and walks smarter now than before. 43. Describe a scene of accident. This accident was a head-to-head -head collision between a truck and a passenger bus at a sharp bend. A lot of people had gathered to see the accident. The police also arrived in their van and the injured were being taken into the ambulance. The driver of the truck was unconscious. Some of the injured passengers were crying. All were talking against the drivers and their careless driving. The bus driver was taken into the police van. We had traffic jam on both sides of the scene of accident. 44. Give a police description of your friend, appearance. My friend is 10 but he looks like a teenager. He is nearly 5 feet tall and is slim. His hair is black, short, and straight. His face is long but not very thin. He has big, brown eyes. His nose is long and thin. He has a small mouth with thin lips. His chin is small and round. He has a long and thin neck. He wears jeans and spikes. 45. Job of a teacher. My uncle is a teacher. He goes to school in his uniform. He works from 10 to 4. He teaches computer science. There are seven periods in a day but he has only four periods to teach. The first period is off. He has a break of 45 minutes after the fourth period. He has some snacks with a cup of coffee during the break time. The school is over at 4. 46. A review of a film. James Cameroon's film Avatar is a science fiction. The setting of the film is in a planet called Pandora and it's happening in the future. According to the story, a team of scientists have gone to this planet for mining. They have made artificial avatars of the people of the planet, and they leave their own bodies with the help of some scientific technology and enter into the avatars. Then, they go and mix with the natives. The hero of the team falls in love with the chief's daughter and there is a war between the natives of Pandora and the people from the Earth. The natives win. There are strange machines, animals, and places in the film. A very advanced technology has been used to produce the film in labs. The scenes and acting is beautiful and strange. Sounds and dialogues are good. This film is a lab production. 47. Current activities in the family. 
My father has just retired from his government job and he is looking after the family business. My mother is still working as a doctor in the local hospital. My elder brother has just finished his college and he is helping my father. My brother's wife is a pilot. She is busy flying helicopters for a private company. I'm still a student and now I am studying in grade 5. 48. Compare yourself with your cousin. I am 11 and my cousin is 14. He is 4 inches taller than me. He can run faster than me but I can read books faster than him. I have also more friends than he does. I get more phone calls than he does. He spends more time in studies while I do so in games. He likes to play football and I am good at chess. He gets up earlier than me every morning. He is better than me at study and he wants me to be like him.